Hey, hey, hey everybody, it's Wuju here. Uh, been quite a while since I've done a mail day. Uh, as you can tell by this stack here, stuff i got to go through. Uh, been about a month or so recently, so I've been doing a lot of trading and whatnot. Selling to buy, that sort of stuff. Um, but anyhow, um, before I get started though, I wanted to let you guys know if you're looking for the last video of the last group break, uh, which is a box of 2010 Elite, probably not going to make it up because I recently had to format my uh, computer completely. And I was luckily able to save the videos that you see on there, but 10 to 1, the other video is gone, I'm not going to be able to recover it, but I want to let you guys know that's why you're not seeing that. Anyhow, I'm um, with the mail day here real quick, because as you can see i got a good bit to go through. Uh, working on the full nameplate of Nate Davis from Top's Finest Out of 99, I just got the I in, so I got that. I uh, was starting out with Nate Davis as you could tell. Then I got the dual patch autograph out of 50 from SPX. And then I finally got one of the exquisite patch autographs in out of 99. Three color. As you can see there is a good bit of stitching on there which is kind of nice. There we go. So, very nice there. Uh, moving on straight into the rest is Hall of Fame from here on out. Uh, pick this one up. This guy doesn't have a whole lot of autographs, so I couldn't pass this up. Uh, Top's Finest 2000 of Bruce Matthews from the Titans, Hall of Famer. Uh, then I went through a whole entire big old shopping spree of 97 Legends. Uh, Jackie Smith from the Cardinals. Charlie Sanders from the Lions. Bobby Mitchell, uh, looks like he's in the Chargers there, can't tell for sure. Mel Renfro from the Cowboys. Mike McCormick from the Browns. Jan Stenerud from the Chiefs. I'm trying to get his, a, like a patch autograph of him, but for now that'll dirt, certainly do. Certainly do. Uh, Joe the Jet Perry, I believe from the 49ers if I'm not mistaken. Jim Ringo from the Colts. Hard to find on card autograph for sure. And then a nice pickup for a dual PC for the Steelers and Hall of Fame. 97 Legends, Mel Blount. So very nice pickups there. Uh, at least I think so. Of course, I'm a Hall of Fame guru, uh, not guru, but junkie, I guess you would say. So uh, then I got three game used. All very nice um, Hall of Famers. This is from 2007 Playoff National Treasures, 51 out of 99, triple jersey of Sid Luckman. So, nice there. And his next two are absolutely freaking nasty. Um, this one's from 2004 Donner's Classics, dual jersey, a practice-worn jersey, and a game-worn jacket. Doak Walker and Jim Thorpe. That's out of 75. Don't come across those too often. And then pick this up. Right after I got that, I actually couldn't pass this up. Too good of a deal. Uh, 2005 Donner's Classic. Legendary Players. Jim Thorpe. And that's out of 150. So, two Jim Thorpes. Uh, next we're going to move on to autograph jersey or patches. Uh, these are all jerseys though. Uh, first one's going to be from 09 National Treasures, 46 out of 50, Lem Barney. His entire autograph is on there because that's been one of the reasons why I haven't gotten him yet was because I've been very picky on his autograph. Uh, this is from 09 National Treasures as well, League Leaders, autographed jersey out of 50, Michael Irvin. And uh, definitely been a Redskins sort of... Uh, month I guess because I picked up quite a few of them. This is from O2 Leaf Certified out of 44 autographed jersey John Riggins. Last but certainly not least five cut autographs. First one from the Rams Los Angeles Rams at the time cut autograph out of 100 Bob Waterfield or Robert Waterfield as he signed there. Next, 
from the Detroit Lions out of seven. Four out of seven. Alex Wojciechowski, which or something like that. I can't even pronounce it. I'm sure you're all going to bash me for my pronunciation of that. But hard to find a Hall of Fame autograph. It's all on there. Slightly cut off there on the edge, but probably one of his cleanest autographs I've seen. Then, from 09 UD Black, 25 out of 25, full name cut autograph of Dick Night Train Lane. So absolutely nasty cut there. Paid a little more than I wanted to for that, but uh, it's full name. Can't complain. This I absolutely freaking stole though, out of 09 Limited. Uh, 3 out of 10, Frank Bruger Kennard. And last, certainly not least, probably one of the harder cut autographs I've recently got. This is from 07 National Treasures All Decade Cut Autograph, 17 out of 41 Cliff Battles. Kind of hard to see with the lighting on here, but the very nice Cliff Battles Cut Autograph there. So that's it for the mail day. Pretty Hall of Fame heavy, as you can tell, but that's nothing new for me. So. Um, yeah, that should do it for now, folks. Um, be coming back in a little over a week from now to do the next local car shop group break. So watch out for that in about a week, and that should do it for now. As always, folks, thanks for watching.